want to knock over a casino. Oh. Stephen and I have a, a formed a company at Warner Brothers, and the very first script uh, Lorenzo gave us was Oceans. And you know, we figured we'd go through a lot of scripts because you go through a lot of scripts before you find something you like. So we read it over the weekend, and Stephen called me up and he goes, "You're not going to believe this, but I, I love this script." And I said, "I do too." He goes, "And I know how to do it." And uh, you know, Stephen, he's a film snob. So he hates everything. And if he says that, you go. Uh, Monday morning we were greenlit at Warner Brothers, and by Friday we had Brad and Julia attached to the film. You know, and then it just sort of snowballed. I knew George was on. I didn't let that deter me. I still went <laughs> for it, and you know, I felt good about it. We all felt pretty good about it. It was great. You know, I had such a good time with all the guys. It really, really was a really memorable experience. Speaking of Julia, it was really a joy to work with her. She's uh, got a great energy as an actress. You know, I'd like to do more with her. She has a special gift. It was exactly how it looked. It was fun. It was cute guys. It was great clothes. It was Las Vegas. It was cocktails. It was Steven Soderbergh. There you have it. It was a no-brainer for me. I mean, it's kind of like the scene in the movie where George comes to see if I want to be a part of the, you know, the 11 guys. It's like, are you in or are you out right now, you know? And that was kind of my meeting with Steven. He was just like, here's the script I'm directing. It's George and Brad and Julia and Cheadle and you know, all these, Andy Garcia. I was like, ah, in, yeah, I'll, I'm in. Smash and grab job, huh? Slightly more complicated than that. Vegas is a summer. bit of a distraction, yes it is. But I think it, it you know, kind of added to the film, you know, people having a good time. It was a kick, I mean, it was really fun. It was, you had to reorient your thinking because any trip I'd ever taken to Vegas had been with, you know, buddies and hey, jump in a van and, you know, we're gonna go and spur of the moment type thing and you go for, you know, eight hours and come back. But this, I mean, we lived there for six or seven weeks, mm -hmm. so. You'd go to work at seven o'clock at night. You'd work through the evening until, you know, four which is really still a pretty good time. And then you'd you know, go over to the bar, which is still open, and have a drink or go to the craps table, or, you know, blackjack table, and go get to bed at seven. I hear that, that George himself claims that he is the most unlucky gambler in the history of mankind. And I think it was proven that he was. I think he lost like 25 straight hands of blackjack or something. It was this funny life we were living for a while. But the one thing we were all very aware of was that it would never be more fun to make a film than this one. We all said it every day. I'd look over at Matt and he'd go, doesn't get better than that. It just felt like this once in a lifetime opportunity. I mean, he had a shooting on the casino floor in the daytime, you know? I mean, it was this, the access we got it was, was just, of. yeah, it was unheard of. And I don't think a movie will get that again. I mean, not in my lifetime. You're a thief and a liar. I only lied about being a thief. George is, oh my God, he's so fun and so silly. And truly the worst thing ever about people saying that I was going out with George is that it truly makes me hesitate to gush about my pal, which is kind of sad. I just think he's tremendous. I think he's so smart and really cares about everybody. Like he really entertains everybody, keeps everybody happy. And then when it's time to get down to it, works so hard, mm -hmm. really just is right there with you, never lets you down. We have the same like giggle meter, like there was one night that truly I thought we wouldn't get through. I thought Steven was gonna say, okay, you guys go home, because we can't shoot the scene. You're just unprofessional, hideous people. And we both had it so bad, and fortunately we both pulled it together at the same time. Our biggest fear was we were having such a good time, we thought we might screw it up. You know, that was, a, it actually is a fear, you know, because it was really fun. You know, I've been trying to just do films that I would go see for the last few years, and I've had a lot more success as an actor and as a businessman and all of that doing that and this is one of those films at least you'll know that when we started the film started from a good place you know and I think there's a lot of stuff for everybody to see in this one